Hello again, world. This is Thana from Eminent of Crush Ridge US. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the graphical user interface that has been built into version 2.1 of the Eminent DKP mod that I originally released last fall. Okay, let me start off by talking about the, the DKP standings. Uh, I've got this set of bars here. I'm actually going to make this bigger so that you can easily see what I'm doing. There we go. So this is the uh, graphical user interface that has replaced the uh, text-based dollar sign standings command that was built into previous versions of Eminent DKP. Now at this highest level, this is the very top of the standings interface, we, we're looking at uh, a set of time frames. We've got uh, all time, today's date, and then into the past days that specific events happened. I could click on any of these days to go back and see uh, uh, standings for certain days. Most of the time you're going to be spending your time in this all time box, so that's where I'm going to click for now. Now on the next uh, tier down, I'm looking at several subsets. These are different types of standings, uh, mostly broken down based on class. For example, I could click here where it says Druid, and I could see the current DKP standings of all the Druids in the database. There's me, number three. I can right click to go back to where I was before. Left click drills down and right click sort of zooms back out. Uh, in addition to just basic class standings, I can look at particular armor types. For example, I can click on leather to see not only the standings of all the druids, but the rogues as well. So if I was interested in rolling on an agility, or purchasing an agility trinket or something, I might want to look at these standings. And of course there's also cloth, mail, and plate. But my favorite subset is this one right here, Vanquisher. I can click on this and see all of the people who might be interested in purchasing the Vanquisher tokens that, uh, that I want to buy. So I have rogues, mages, death knights, and druids. And of course, finally, I can just look at all classes to see everybody. Now, that's how you view the standings list. You can drill down even farther by you know, clicking on a specific person and seeing information about them. First of all, when I mouse over my name here, I can see in the bottom right I've got a tooltip, you know, items that I've recently won, uh, earnings and deductions that I recently had. But I can click on my name and I can see a list of everything that I purchased recently, including tooltips, and over here on the right side is purchase price. And of course, in addition to myself, I can view that same set of information for anybody in the database. So that's a quick overview of the, the standings as they currently exist. One final note is this status bar here at the top. Uh, this will let you know the condition of your particular mod. Uh, if you don't have the latest data, this little bar will tell you that you're out of date and it will tell you what percentage of the data you have. I'll talk about data syncing in just a minute. Um, if you do have all the latest data, this bar will just show the current bounty pool. So at the moment, uh, about 86,000 DKP is available in the bounty pool. All right, so let's take a look at an eminent DKP auction now that there is a GUI in place. Now when I loot the boss, just like in the old version of the mod, the loot that's available is immediately linked to raid chat. But anybody running the you know, version 2.1 or later uh, will have this chat window filtered, so you won't see any of the spam that was there before. It's still there, but if you have the mod installed, you won't see it. Okay, now the way to start an auction is similar to the old days where you had to type in a command here. The command is different. It's a slash command now. Uh, if you want to be lazy like me, just link it to a keybind. I use F8. Now, when I click, or when I send myself that command, you can see that these auction bars appear. And you can see that it's showing me uh, a list of all of the gear that's up for auction. Every single bar represents a single item. I can see a tooltip for the item here, the name of the item. I've got a countdown bar. You can see this is getting smaller and smaller as the 30 seconds expires. And 
finally, I've got a little interface over here where I can send a bid. Now, first auction is over. I see the results here. It went to Lamashtu, and the second auction immediately starts. As an important side note, just like the note I made in my previous video, I, the master looter, don't have to do anything at all. The only reason that I'm sitting at my computer right now is so that I can narrate this video. I could be in the kitchen making myself yet another sandwich or doing whatever else I feel like doing in the kitchen. Okay, second auction is over. Again, I can see the results, one by in disguise for 8,000 DKP. Now, to bid on an auction, all you have to do, if you have the mod running, is to just type the value in here and push the coin button. Now, uh, there's all kinds of error checking on this little field here. Like if I were to try to type in a letter or some or word or any other keys, you can see that it just switches back to the number one. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum, if I were to type in a huge value like maybe 150,000 or something, you can see that it will just automatically revert back to whatever DKP I have. So it's just switched back to my max value. And again, you just push the coin to send the bid. I don't want to bid on these things, so I'm not going to send that bid. Now, an important note to make, I, I don't remember if I made this note already, but these are the auction bars that will appear on everybody's, everybody in, uh, well, it'll appear on the screen of everybody in the raid who has the mod running. So uh, these auction bars, as well as the standings, are synced up among everybody in the raid. The standings, in fact, are syn synced up among everybody in the guild, so people who aren't in the raid can actually watch the standings update. They can see what gear was picked up and by who. Uh, let me also uh, take a quick moment to make a note about the whisper commands. A lot of people were worried that with version 2.1 being released, they would be required to install the mod. That's not the case. All of the old whisper commands are still in the system, like dollar sign bid, dollar sign balance, dollar sign standings, those all still work exactly the same as they did before, but as I mentioned earlier, I can't imagine why you'd want to keep using those with these uh, auction bars available. I guess I'll use my handy dandy standings finder to see the current standings for the protector token. Oh look, there's the standings for the protector token. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen in any DKP mod ever. All right, so once the final auction has concluded, you'll see that the bars will stay on my screen for a few more seconds, um, and then they'll go away. I, I don't know if you just noticed that a moment ago, but uh, one of the cool features of the GUI is the uh, a lot of the notifications are done via Blizzard's notification system. Just in case you missed that, I will do it again real quick using the uh, EDKP interface. I'm going to click on the gear on the standings uh, window. You can see I've got a whole bunch of tabs in here. I'm going to demonstrate these other ones later, but for now, let me just show you the transfer function. On the transfer tab, I can pick a recipient, a person that I want to get this gear, and I'm actually going to give some DKP to Grioja because he did just a great job on this mod, uh, and I will give him 50 DKP. So I type in 50. Of course, I could also use the slider bar, but I'll just, just type in 50. When I push send, I get a little confirmation window. Yes, I do want to send that. I'll close out of this. You can see that a little notification is sent to the raid. Thana transferred 50 DKP to Ryoja. Now, I'm supposed to be raiding, so I'm going to uh, terminate this video and film some more later. OK, since the rest of the raid is doing trash, and I think trash is really boring, I'm going to take this opportunity to demonstrate some of the other new stuff on the uh, eminent DKP GUI. I'm going to go back into my uh, standings area here, click on the little yellow gear. I demonstrated the transfer a moment ago. Some of the other tabs are familiar to the pre-GUI days. For example, the bounty is still in the system, but it's much easier to use it now. In the old days, you had to type uh, the command dollar sign bounty, and then you had to type a percentage. Now, you can still do a percentage. See, I've got a slider bar. When it's a checkbox, or when the percent box is checked, I can slide from 0 to 100% of the uh, 
the bounty pool. But first, I would pick a reason. This can be, well, this is a list of recently killed bosses. Also, if you get an achievement, you can uh, make the achievement the reason for the bounty. Um, I'm just going to leave this out on default because this is just a demo. And I'm actually also going to change it from a percent to a raw DKP value. This is, this is something that you could not do before. You had to use a percentage. So again, slider bar, I could go up to the full bounty value, which is here in the top of my standings bar all the time, by the way. Uh, but instead, I'm going to again do just 50, 50 DKP. And I'm going to award this to the entire raid. Now, um, it's divided up evenly among everybody, so I imagine that, my goodness, I thought I'd be safe in this room. I'm going to have to heal myself during this video. Um, okay, so 50 DKP among everybody in the raid. If I click Award, you can see um, that the DKP goes out to everybody in the raid, 1.92, which I'm guessing means, yep, there's actually 26 people in the raid. So it was 50 DKP divided up among 26 people in uh, the raid. And actually, let me take a moment here to keep myself alive during this video. Sweet. Okay, now back to what I was doing. Actually, okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the bounty. And we covered transfer. Now, adjustment. This is a brand new thing to, uh, to eminent DKP with version 2.1. A lot of people were asking for this. We were kind of hesitant to put it in for a variety of reasons, but now that we have Page it in, from habit, uh, you know, I'm too much glad enough. we do have it. So, yeah, there's a message from Grioja. He knows that I'm he knows that I'm filming. Okay, so um, the adjustment. This is just a an individual DKP addition or subtraction from a specific person. So if Fleur de Sang is being fail, for example, I could just click on Fleur de Sang if he's uh, putting dirty words in my video, or if he's getting feared into the whelp, into the whelps, I can just type 50 DKP minus right here. I'll just type in failing all the time as the reason. This will be recorded in the history so we can come back and look at it later. And I will click issue and notification will go out. Florida saying has been deducted 50 DKP. So uh, there are other functions in here that are not terribly commonly used. Rename, you can switch a player's name from like if someone name changes or switches characters or something, you can switch that here. The vanity function still works the same but it's really only applicable if there's a vanity mount to roll on, so I can't really demonstrate that now. But those are the functions that are available from this little gear on the standings bar, and the vast majority of these are only available to the master looter and or the officer. Well, that concludes my video demonstration of the GUI that has been added to Eminent DKP as of version 2.1. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you will uh, enjoy the mod itself. If you have any questions or comments, uh, or in particular, if you have any ideas for enhancements to the mod, please visit us at our um, Eminent DKP forums on our website, eminent.engine.com. Thanks for watching.